So we've got full stop as part of that. Whereas if we were not to specify this here, it would only produce uh, words themselves. So we can specify words here or characters here if you like. So I could say an ambersand, um, and if I was to say, um, if I was say an ambersand and a full stop, I'd say this is an example string and this is a tutorial. Uh, you can see that when we refresh, we have um, a few things. So we've got this is an example string and so we've included that ambersand as a word uh, well, now that we've specified it in here and also we've specified a full stop now you don't need any commas or anything for this they're just literally the symbols next to each other so I could put an ex exclamation mark for example an asterisk anything I wanted just next to each other and you can also see the the full stops being included on the end there um, inside tutorial uh, again let's say separate that full stop and refresh and you can see that's been included as well. So this is the string word count function and the many ways that you can use it. We're now going to move on to string shuffle. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this and let's change our string back to how it was. Okay, so the string shuffle uh, function, let's go ahead and say string underscore shuffled equals um, it, it is written like this so it's str it's the same as uh, many string functions str underscore shuffle and we're only taking one argument here and that's just the string so we're taking in a string and what we're doing is we're shuffling it now I'll uh, show you what this does when we preview it so we're echoing out our shuffled string and you can uh, get an idea of what happens when I click refresh now Okay, so what it's actually done is it's just taken each character of the string and it's randomly shuffled it. So let's keep refreshing and you can see that shuffling uh, each time. Now, why might this uh, function be useful? Well, uh, in the past I've used it for, let's say I was uploading a file and I wanted to give it a random generated name. Uh, a great way to do this is to um, actually use this str shuffle to shuffle the file name of your file obviously without the .jpg extension or the .png or whatever file you're uploading but you can always add that um, extension on the end but string shuffle uh, is great for just randomly generating um, you know some some text but giving it a sensible value as well so instead of say generating a massive random number or an md5 hash uh, you can use this string shuffle uh, to shuffle some characters Another really useful um, way of, uh, well, a useful uh, use, if you like, for this function is let's just say our string was um, a collection of, um, let's say, letters and numbers. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. I won't bore you with the rest of the alphabet. And then we could do one, two, th or sorry, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, what this is actually going to do is it's just going to generate a random sequence of letters and numbers so let's go ahead and refresh you can see that it's just generating a random sequence of letters and numbers again really good for a random randomization of um, you know of uh, say a file name or a forward slash say you had a website that created a shortened URL what you might want to do is say um, string shuffle equals this shuffle and then you might want to um, actually um, split this string in half so what we could do is we could come and say um, what well, we could use the substring function so what we could say is um, let's go down here so we could say um, half is equal to substring so using the substring function we're feeding in the string shuffled value um, and then what we're doing is we are giving it the start and the mid value so this would be the string length of the string so this is equal to half of the length of the amount of you know characters or you could just simply say 10 for example if you wanted a 10 character 10 characters returned uh, let's say 5 for now so we can see the difference let's refresh and you can see oh no what's happened here oh sorry yeah so um, echo half uh, what we're actually doing is we're just uh, returning a few characters so this is really good for a uh, for a random character generation and in this example I've shown you string shuffle and the substring function as well however here um, you could say string length um, of uh, the string uh, divided by f uh, sorry divided by two 
uh, so that will cut this in half so we've got half of whatever is in our uh, string up here so there's many ways you can do this obviously you can use different string functions with different string functions to create a really really nice effect for for you know useful things so that's the use of the string shuffle that's a really really nice way to use that uh, function we also have something not similar to this but something that you may struggle to find use for um, personally I've, I've struggled to find use for this function and it's the uh, str reverse function so let's go ahead and change this string to this is an example string for example um, str reverse and then we can echo out string reversed uh, let's go ahead and change our variable name here Ooh, reversed so what we're doing is we're reversing the string using the string reverse function and then we're just echoing that out so let's go and have a look at that in our browser uh, pass error on line 7 so that's going to be me yep. 